What is your reaction to an, yet another indictment of the president of the United States, of the former president of the United States? I've, I've not read the indictments. Um, all of this has been very troubling to me uh, on a number of levels, uh, frankly. Um, and at this point, uh, as I've said many times, no one is above the law and everyone has a presumption of innocence uh, until a, a proof of guilt. Um, I also think uh, uh, consistently, I, I think enforcement needs to be consistent. Uh, and I think the resources of the federal government uh, should be used in a way that, that ensures uh, uh, equi equitable enforcement of law. Um, do you think that, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about the DOJ being weaponized. I mean, do you believe that's what's going on here? Or do you believe the career um, DOJ people are doing their jobs? Well, I'm not going to answer the specific question, but I, I will say broadly what I experienced over the last several years has been executive overreach at every level. And we ought to be very careful uh, that we don't allow government uh, to act uh, in a way that's punitive against political uh, uh, opponents, that doesn't treat people with lack of equity. And that's true whether it's the DOJ uh, or a local police department. There needs to be equitable enforcement of law. And I believe that Congress's rightful role uh, is to provide the appropriate oversight of the administration. That includes ensuring oversight and transparency of the enforcement entities within the executive branch. Um, if Donald Trump becomes the the um, presumed Republican candidate, would you vote for him? Um, so I have uh, done my level best to stay out of presidential politics, and I'm going to until I uh, until I choose or feel that it's necessary. I will say that we 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 have many uh, really really cool and capable candidates. Um, and uh, over the course of the next uh, several months, uh, Republican voters and committee people uh, will, will make that selection clear. Uh, and um, I look forward to uh, seeing, uh, seeing where this, uh, where, how this unfolds. I'm Jim Sebastian, MidHudsonNews.com.